Solar by Green Greg here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to operate a manual solar pool heater system and show you the biggest mistake that people make with manual solar pool heating. Okay, so let's get right into it. So here is the pipe that's coming up from the pool to the check valve. The check valve goes up and it goes to this three-way valve, okay? Above here, we have the pipe that goes to solar. And we have a ball valve. You want to make sure that this ball valve, that the knob is parallel to the pipe. And then here is the return pipe. Again, you want to make sure this knob is parallel to the pipe. And this is the return pipe. How do I know? Because we have a check valve that's pointed down. Now, a lot of times you'll see an, air, you'll see an arrow imprinted onto the valve. I drew one here. You also can tell this is pointed down because the way it's tapered on this side. So that's how I know this is the return pipe, okay? And I don't know if you can see it here, but right where this notch is on this valve, it says off. So what that does is when the water is coming up from the pool, this valve is off. It's got off imprinted here. It's blocking this pipe. So that means the water is coming up. Oops, it can't go up there. So it's going to the bypass over here to the other side. And then here's a check valve that doesn't allow the water to go up. So it has to go down. So it's coming up through this valve and coming back down. This is the bypass, okay? Now, in order to turn the system on, again, this is off, wherever it's pointed off is where it's blocking the pipe. We need to actually turn this valve over to the other side. And now the water is coming up. It can't go that way because the pipe's blocked. It has to go up here and up onto the rooftop and then return back down to. So right now, this is the on position. And again, how do I know that this is the return pipe? Because this check valve is pointing down, okay? Now, your feed and return might be flipped. You might have the return on the right-hand side. Um, that's okay, just the operation is the opposite. Then wherever this is pointing off, it again, closes this pipe. So if your pipes are flipped, if your return is on the right-hand side, then you would actually have this off flipped over here uh, to the right, okay? The biggest mistake that people make with solar pointer systems that are manual is they will just leave this on all the time. And so the problem with this is if, even if your pump is on the off position, okay, as we all know, heat rises. So what will happen is at nighttime, it obviously gets cooler and heat will rise through this pipe and onto the solar panels and actually cool your pool off at night if you don't close this valve. So how are you supposed to properly operate a manual pool heater system? is you're supposed to actually check what your pool temperature is. Let's say it's 70 degrees, okay? And then your rooftop or the outdoor temperature should be at least four degrees warmer than your pool if you want to heat it. So in this case, the roof should be at least 74 degrees. Or if we don't have a roof sensor, then you check your weather app. And so if it's at least 74, four degrees warmer than your pool, then you turn this valve on the on position. And then what you should do is check your pool temperature and the outdoor temperature as the day goes on and as the sun is setting and as it cools off outside you should be closing this valve back down so that way at nighttime you're not letting heat escape up to the solar panels and cooling off your pool so that's why there's a manual system you're supposed to be opening and closing this every day and so a lot of times i'll see people say well i don't think a solar pool heater help help much with the pool temperature well, it's probably because you're not operating it properly, okay? And this is a bit of a hassle to keep track of all that, keep measuring the pool temperature, keep track of what the outdoor temperature is, make sure the 40 degree difference or more, shutting off when it reaches the proper temperature. It's a big hassle, and that's why I do recommend using a automatic controller such as the Pentor Solar Touch or the Goal Line uh, Solar Controller. And I got a separate video on how those work. Of course, you will need to have your pool pump on during the uh, solar operation. So as far as the solar pool heater operation, you want to have your pool pump on at least, depending on the month, the cooler months, something like 10 o'clock to 3 o'clock or so. As you get into the warmer months, you may want to have your pump on between 10 and 4, 10 and 5 even, just depending on how much heat you want to get. But you basically want your pool pump on during the hottest parts of the day. That way the solar um, can pump the water up to the solar panels. Okay. Solar Break Green Greg here. So I hope you learned something here and I hope you found this video helpful. 
On this channel, we cover home solar PV and battery, solar pooling, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without any clickbait or sales talk. You know, I'm a homeowner just like you. I now know how it is. You know, sometimes you're just trying to get some questions answered or get some information. If that's you just trying to get information, hey, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, click that thumbs up, and click that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Oh, and by the way, in the comments, hey, let me know where you're from. It's always fun to know where people are from and how far my voice is reaching to help people out with solar energy efficiency. Thank you so much. Have a great sunny day, and here's the next video.